Welcome to the Coding Loft. My name is Samuel and today we look at a small fun project. We are making a background gradient that is moving. So it creates this really nice cool effect that looks as if the background is changing all the time. If you're new to the channel, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. That would really help us a lot. Now I get started by creating a new folder, going inside there, creating an index.html file and a style file, and then opening them up in VS Code. Now let's get started with our index.html file. So we just create a basic template. We want to link our style sheet, which is link rel equals style sheet. And then the href is style.css. Let's start by creating a div with a class of hero. Of course, you can pick any other class name, but the hero usually sits on top of the website. And in here, we create another div with a class of hero background. So hero double underscore BG. And we don't need to put anything in there. Below that, we have our other class, which is class equals hero text. So again, hero dash dash text. And in here, we have our h1, which says my awesome website and below that in h3 check out my portfolio so now we can open this up in the web browser and have this extension called live server make sure to install it so all you need to do is right click the index file and then go to open with live server so that's our site right now it looks ugly i know but we will change that in a second. Let's go to our style.css. And in here, let's start with the basic CSS reset. So I always use the CSS reset from DigitalOcean. I find it quite handy. So just copy it and then make a comment here, CSS reset, and then we paste the code below. And then our own styles will be below that. This reset basically makes sure that the website looks similar on all different browser types because the default behavior might change a little bit from browser to browser. Then I want to use a Google font. So I will just use this Oswald font. You can find other fonts at Google fonts. Just what you have to do is you copy this import statement right here at the top of your styles file. And then here down at styles, we say HTML. And then we say font family is, as you can see here, Oswald and sans serif. Now I have a small typo here. Don't put a comma at the end, but a semicolon. And there you can see your new style. So first let's look at the body and we want to change the background color. I usually go with a light gray, such as E2, E2, E2. Save it. And you can see that now it has this gray background. And now we want to style our hero class. So that's the div that we defined right here. Let's start by changing the background. We want the light gray, F1, F1, F1. And now you can see that that's our hero section up here. So we want to make sure that we have a width of 100 viewport width and a height of 50 viewport height. Spell it correctly. Yes. And now it takes up 50% of the viewport. Now let's use flex to align everything in the center. So display flex. Flex direction is column. So nothing changes yet, but now we can use justify content to move everything to the center. So it's in the center and then align items to move everything into the middle. Let's make the text align center. Now let's also change the size of our headings. So for the H1, we go with a bigger size of font size 60 pixels. And then we go with the H3 also bigger with a font size of let's say 32 pixels. Now let's start working on our hero background. So that's our dot hero underscore underscore background class. And in here, we want to position it absolute. Let's first start to define a background gradient. And there's this really cool page called cssgradient.io. And what you can basically do there is you can pick all sorts of different gradients. So for instance, you can add another color here in the middle. And then you have a three color gradient. You know, you can play around with this. All you have to do then is just copy to clipboard and it will copy this text that you can then paste into your CSS. Let's just go with this basic gradient of dark blue and light blue. So we copy it and then in our hero background, we paste it. But we don't see anything yet because we need to actually specify a size for the container. So we want a width of 100% and a height of 100% too. But as you can see right now, it's on top of the text because in our HTML, it's this div right here and our hero is a flex box. 
So that's why it's pushed to the top. So you can change that simply by saying position absolute. And now you can see the effect it had. But what we want to do is we want to position the hero class as relative because then our position absolute is always relative to this class here. And we want to put it at top zero and left zero, meaning it begins here at this corner. Now we want the text to be in front and not in the back. So the way that we do that is we use a property called Z index and we want zero here. And we have a text container here, which is called hero text. So we go with hero underscore underscore text and we give it a Z index of 100. And now the text is in the front. And here we can also change the text color to white or whatever you want. I go with F1, F1, F1. So it's again, this light gray. Now, how can we now create this cool effect? Well, we need to specify an animation property and we will define it in a second. We will call it move background. It will go for two seconds and it will be a linear animation. It will alternate and it will repeat infinite, meaning it just keeps going. Nothing is happening because we need to define that animation. So we say add keyframes and here we call it move background. That's what we called it at the top. So we will have a start position, which we call from, and we will have an end position, which we call to. Well, what is it that we want to do? Basically, we just want to move the background from left to right. So we use the transform and then the translate X property. So X refers to the X axis, meaning from the left to the right. And we will start at, I don't know, let's go with minus 100 pixels. And now you can see that there is some sort of effect already. And we want to stop at transform x 100 pixels. So now you can see that it moves from the left to the right. But obviously we don't want this white border on the left and on the right. So how can we change that? Well, back in our hero background class, we give it a width of 200 and a height of 200. And as you can see, it still has this white line on the left. Actually, we need to remove uh, this property up here, top zero and left zero. So now you can see that it moves from the left to the right and we don't see the white edges anymore. But now you can also see that the height of our hero background is larger than the 50 viewport height that we defined here in our hero class. So all we have to do in our hero class, we say overflow hidden. And now it doesn't flow out of the hero container right? Because it's contained within this hero container right here. And now you can play around, of course, by changing the pixels here, say for instance, minus 500 to 500. But now you can see that you have to be careful with the sides. So in that case, maybe just go with 300 and 300 down there. And you can change the animation time, the duration. So for instance, five seconds or even 10 seconds. So now it looks more natural, right? You can also play around and apply different backgrounds. For instance, you could change the degree here. 90 degrees means that it's basically going from the left to the right. Why not go with 120 degrees? So now it's sort of going from the top left to the bottom right. And you can also play around by adding different gradients. So for instance, let's try out, I don't know, gradient like this, copy this, and then replace our gradient up here. And then again, change the time maybe to five seconds. And now you have this moving effect. Pretty cool, right? And that's how you create a cool moving gradient background effect. If you did like this video, please leave a like and a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future.